Hey what's going guys, I'm Vince and welcome back to Automation of Karkami Tycoon Game. We're back with the Uberstein Company in the campaign mode and we have a new car being uh, produced right here soon. It's engineering currently and it's going to come out in 1962, which as you can see is a few years away, but I guess we are like a uh, prestigious supercar company, you know, we got, it takes a while to engineer things. But as you can see, we got pretty uh, high desirability ratios here. Um, but we are going to be hemorrhaging money, like just absolutely hemorrhaging money to start off here. Um, we might even bankrupt the company. Yeah, third episode in 1955. Even though we're not like losing that much money, I think we're going to have to cut like, go to like to skeleton marketing, like literally no marketing at all, except for like one in the sportiness and maybe like one in prestige and nothing else. And that was it. Twenty. $22,000? Sure, that's alright. Alright, there we go. We fixed our marketing. We're all good. So, I'm gonna have to press the button. Let's go. Oh, look, we're making a profit for the first time ever. Oh, shh. Literally, as soon as we made a profit for the first time, like, ever, Engine Factory A had a quality issue. Okay, what's up? Huh. Nice. Thousand engines are flawed. How much does this cost? Uh, man, just quiet recall. It honestly, shh. No one has to know. No one has to know our cars explode. Okay, we're still making a profit, just a tiny little bit. Safety regulations are getting updated. Still making a little bit of money. Car, we're, this, is, this is where it's gonna start going bad. We have to sell a lot of these bad boys while this new uh, factory shows up here. Um, oh, we're still making a profit. I forgot. Did we? Well, didn't we contract lease a factory or something like that? If we did, then we might actually not die. I mean, we still have 140 million dollars. Our company valuation is 361. That's what we can like borrow against if need be. How about we do an end of life facelift on the good old uh, Mach 1? It's the end of life for the Mach 1 here. So let's, uh, let's open it. Yeah. New facelift. It's still just going to be called the Coupe. And the Grand Lux. Same shit. But we also need new engine. New, new face of this engine. I don't know. Should we still keep the little tiny four cylinder? I think we just it just needs a facelift, honestly. Hundred and one horsepower, yeah. Okay, so now we can update the engine a little bit here. This engine already is pretty cool. I'm not joking, but a little unreliable. Not that really anyone cares in this situation. Um, let's see what the see what we can actually squeeze out of this. Let's see if we got any new technologies unlocked here in 1956. We can rev higher. Sure. I guess we can do that just to be a little bit more sporty. For the fuel system, we got two barrel, which I will go for. We actually, uh, lose a little power. Huh. Yeah, it seems the twin carb here is still the best. 
Okay. The lever situation kind of thing. Not really seeing much I can really do with this engine to make it more reliable, really. Hmm. Looks like I have to lower the RPM limit just a little bit. Remember the 5400? Yeah, I guess the engine's changed a little bit. Not by much. Let's see if it still sounds cool. Yep. Still sounds pretty cool. But what's the difference between these two? Okay, so I have two identical engines for no reason. I, bro, get that out of here. Okay, I had two identical engines that were being produced at the same time. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, now we can go back here into the coop and update some things in the car. I will update uh, what it looks like as well. For uh, actually, no, it's kind of a timeless design. Low production run cars like this. I don't think it actually needs to change, not gonna lie. It's one of my favorite designs I've done, personally. Let's see if we can do anything new with the transmission on a... Nope. Doesn't look like it. We can go a little bit faster, though. Well, we could have a limited slip, put pause attraction in this thing. I don't think that's really, uh, needed. Could go with radial tires in 1956. Is that a good idea? I don't know. See how much money, let's see how much this changes. Oh. Actually looks, oh. Wait, what? Radials are cheaper now? Okay. I don't know if that makes sense, but I guess, uh, that's cool. I'm on board. All the production units are, uh, that's the issue. No? You just got expensive wheels. Okay. Wheels and tires are just expensive on this car. Oh, we got better drum brakes. Two shoes. See, uh, are the brakes actually an issue? No, the brakes are actually great. This car's not bad at all. Now, let's see. What do we get for, uh... Put a phonograph in this thing. Whoa! Yeah, I'm just keep it the luxury AM radio and the one seat in the back. I think we might have to go with power steering. Oh, it hurt our, uh... Did it hurt our, uh, sportiness score? Yeah, it definitely hurt our sportiness score. I think I'm gonna keep it without the power steering. Like, this is, like, a high-end car, but it's not, like, a luxury car. As you can see, got hard dampers, I guess. I don't know. Oh, my car rides too hard. Dude, every other car around this time in 1956, you'd go around a corner and the car would fall over because it's just leaning to one side. Not really. I'm exaggerating a little bit. Have you ever watched like a 70s movie where they're driving like a late 60s car and they're chasing the bad guy or whatever and the car's just rolling through the corners, hubcaps flying off? That does happen. What am I talking about? I'm gonna give it a luxury interior. So maybe people want to buy the... the convertible one more. People don't even really like this car that much. I'm gonna keep it the sport. And I guess maybe this one can get power steering because it's a sports car or whatever. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense.
Yeah, I guess convertible sport budget, but there's like a few issues. Like body aging convertible penalty. I don't know what it means by convertible penalty. It's literally a convertible. Do you want this kind of convertible? No, that makes it worse. Okay. Whatever. Weird. My convertible isn't a convertible enough, dude. Shut up. It doesn't even make sense. So what what how much would this sell for? Let's see. Over here in markets. Let's do like ten for the Yeah. Wait, hold on. Boom. Boom. No, come on, the, the convertible has to cost more money, right? I think the convertible has to cost way more money. There we go. Yay, 700 total sales, great. Love that. We're selling not we're gonna sell a little bit we're gonna sell enough cars i should say scores of 300. And i guess that's okay for on the higher uh, difficulty here okay let's see you know i'm just not gonna touch any of this i'm gonna bring it back more to learning even more so we just put like just better parts in our cars um funding Honestly, it doesn't even matter because th these cars need to be like good, you know. These are high quality Uber Steinian cars or whatever. High quality Uber Steinian engines. We don't buy engines from anyone else. We do it all ourselves because we're swag like that. Um, yeah. Push it more towards learning on this one too. A little bit more reliable. Very optimized. We need optimized stuff for like engine management because with uh if we want to keep the cost down we're gonna have to use like a bunch of like kind of similar ish engines in different cars like a bunch of four cylinders for a while because um 100 horsepower a car that's uh light like this is pretty good um just not change anything here i guess we could spend some bread and add a maintenance facility here I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And we want a little bit of high quality workers and a little bit more wages for them. Just a tiny bit. Cost per engine, $1,000. That's good. Um, QA threshold, 80%. Let's uh, put that up a little bit, just a tiny bit. Because, like I said, good cars. Uber-Steinian steel. Alright, now for the... Uh-oh. Where's our factory? Huh. Ah. Why can't I touch the fa... Oh, no. The factories are already getting rebuilt, so we gotta, like, get a new factory. Build a head, Vicia. Do I not have another plot? land now I guess these plot prices are actually not that bad um here let's just buy a, another medium plot yeah why not and then uh, for now I guess we just put like a, a small factory on it to uh you know f finish this production run of the car yeah boom how many cars Definitely gonna cut back on costs. I'm probably gonna kill the company, honestly. I'm horrible at this kind of part of the game. I can make the car look okay sometimes, but... Oof. Man. How many cars are we gonna make? 199, 200? Okay, we need to make a little bit more than that, I think. 7 mil? How much would this cost? 56. 760 cars produced right here. Yeah, that, that 
yeah, that's good. A little bit worker quality, worker wages, less shifts. I don't actually know what that does. Labor costs. Make it expensive or less expensive. I gotta, let me just read this. I've never read this before. Okay, I think we're good. We made, we're make, gonna make cars. Yeah. Okay, oh look at $3,000 prof, profit per car, I guess. Huh, okay. Maybe we, these need to be a little bit more expensive. $3,000 profit actually seems not bad. As long as that is actually how much we really do make. Oh yeah, look at that green. Money, 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 money. Swag. Okay, um, we can up the for the, like the convertible version. We want twenty five percent deposit. Let's calculate that forecast. Oof. Yeah, man. That looks like a lot of money. I'm rocking with it. How about if we set one year as the break even point? Actually, no. Realistically, it's free. Three years break even. Okay. Still good, still good. Alright. I'm kind of vibing with it. How long is this gonna take? Because it hopefully it shouldn't. 58, it looks like. Okay. That's a little bit before the car uh the other car comes out. This is a facelift though. Alright. Um, 140, oh, 142 million, that's how much this is going to cost? 30 months? Yo, it lied to me, bro. <laughs> it lied to me. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, let's get a loan. I think we're going to have to loan it, man. Definitely gonna have to loan it. Okay, yep, we're going loan. We're loaning it! Okay. Yeah, this gets done in uh, 58, like it said. Let's hope we still have things to sell. Yay. Oh, we're still ma we're making a million dollars a month. Great. Look, we're actually going good. Our company is still afloat at this moment in time. We are not, like, dying, laying off all of our uh, staff. We're not getting bought out by Reno. Renault. Uh-oh. The money went red. The money's still red. The money do be red, though. For real. Okay, we're still- we're still- uh, we're still good. At least we won't have to pay taxes. Since we're not making any profit. Okay, what are we actually spending the money on? Hold on. I actually am very interested to see real quick. Expenses, car production, factory construction. Oh yeah, we're building the new the new one. Okay. Oh! Hello! Money! Man. Actually not doing that bad. Still selling 300 of these a month. 360. We're good. Still making a mill. Our credit rating's B+. 
I've never gotten a grade that good and even in school. So I feel swag. And, uh, I'm losing a million now, so. I saw that. But we're still hovering around a $300 million company value. No, not really. B. B plus again, yay! Credit rating. Well, the car is 500. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow it, slow your roll. Let me, let me observe real quick. What's, uh, the car production is. What do we got? What's the issue here? People can't afford them. People can afford this one too much. Okay, how do I make you more bread? Be more expensive. Okay, here we go. Um, we still have, uh, we still have old Mach 2s. That's weird. Okay, but, uh, the Coupe Mach 3 needs to not be so cheap. Like, it said it can be like $20,000 and they wouldn't even, like, mind. Total cost, 20. And then for this one, 27. Boom. Calculate that forecast now. Oh, B? I, I don't think that is accurate it's really weird huh so that should update in a second here oh yeah look that that completely like saved our our money moment except we're not making as many cars yay great we're not selling as many so ooh, 49 customer price 25 better prices that just went down? They were higher earlier, bro. What? I don't know. We're, we're prestigious. You have to, uh... You have to be of the upper crust or whatever to own an Uberstein, man. Okay, now where's the money going? Bro, hello? People just not buying the car as much. What's happening here? Man, it's this loan repayment killing us for real. So while wow, these cars are all affordability radio, uh, a ratio 95. 388 and it makes sense. Do I have do I just have them in the wrong market or something? Is that just what the situation is going on? Let me touch this real quick. No, wrong marketing. We sell a lot of cars. We're good. Our prestige needs to be more prestige, man. We're gonna have to put some money into our prestige. Real quizzle. Faux shizzle. I don't know why I turned him into like Snoop Dogg on Christmas, but.
boom, we're doing it. Putting some money into our uh, marketing a little bit. And we're definitely losing money, but wait until this car comes out. Hopefully people are going to like it, because we have one that's like the fastest car in the world. My car isn't being desirable anymore. Why? We got like new uh, transmissions we gotta put in it now. Also, look, we're making money again. Swag. Come on, let's, let's, let's just speed it up. Let's just speed it up. We gotta see this new car come out. Seems like the game's almost kind of struggling already. In 1961, the game's lagging a little bit. Oh, here we go. It's happening. Get ready. 10 mil. Oh, we just made 10 mil. That's cool. I completed this engineering and we just, we just, we just made 10 mil and then lost it immediately. <laughs> okay, this guy, actually, we probably could still actually make this as like a light sports car, but we, we gotta, we gotta mess with this a little bit. The shooting brake, I don't even think should really exist. My goal. Um, let's see. 70k. Cost to produce is 32. Let's make this like 8. There we go, let's calculate this shit now. Yeah, people like to- No, 499 billion dollars! Okay, now the afford affordability ratio is still 90%, that's sick. But what are you even- Like, what demographic are you even being- Is it a wagon? Sporty wagon? I forgot I made that, that's, that was just stupid. Uh, well, I guess some car companies do dumb things. Um, I think we're kind of flopping. Also, we're not building any? What? Hello? Why? What? Bro? Why no car being built? Where are they at? Hello? Where's my cars? Why aren't they being built? Engine Factory 2 is being overworked. No! It's all falling apart. Let's hit the wrong button. Okay, we're, we're uh... We'll have to figure this out. We pause the production of the Mach 1. So we're not making any more of them. Uh, definitely gotta figure this out. This, this one just needs to not exist. There we go. Now. Now it should be fixed. Took the shooting break out of production, and it's just these two that are being sold now. Um, yeah. Okay, well. 
Hopefully that makes it better. Engine factory still and we're still losing like all the money. The loan repayment's killing us, man. Oh no. It's a loan. Factory staff paused. Who Who is paused, bro? Which one are we on? Pause. Okay, so it's just this loan repayment that's messing us up. Also, we still got a lot of these cars being sold for some reason. Still selling like 200 of them. How much stock do we have? Cars, 20? got bailed out by the fucking government and wasn't paying attention. They're still good. They're still good. They're still good, yeah. Right. Right. Oh. Wow. We need to fix something, man. We got a bad situation happening here. Can I sell my land? Well, okay, I'm thinking in the next video we're gonna try to actually save the company in 1963. Yeah. So, until next time, I'm Vince. I will see you guys later.